Hello everybody, my name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm really, really happy to have you guys here today. We're going to be doing a fun little video on who is thinking about you this New Year's. So as I'm filming this, it is December 31st. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm wishing you a prosperous, healthy, and happy 2022. Thank you to everybody who has been supporting me purchasing readings um it's just been a true honor so again today's video is just meant for fun i have no idea what's going to come out um but yeah let's go ahead here and take a look at our numbers here so we do have three piles to choose from number one i think this is rose quartz not rose quartz a piece of quartz but it has some orange um markings in it Pile two is this malachite, and pile three is the carnelian. So if you do need some more time, please do pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with pile number one. Let me just take a sip of my coffee. Do you guys ever make like, so my plant is shedding. Do you guys ever make like the perfect cup of coffee? You know, like I love coffee, but sometimes it's boring or bland. Today, I'm telling you, I have the perfect cup, which to me seems like an excellent way to end the year. Okay, let's go ahead here and get started. Hello, pile one. If you chose this beautiful rose, why do I want to say rose quartz? Maybe you guys are working on your heart. This beautiful quartz cluster, then this is your reading. I'm just going to set that there. Let me grab my deck. I'm going to use this guy, I think. Okay, so spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective here who chose pile number one. Um, who is thinking about them this New Year's? Eve. Who's thinking about them this New Year's Eve? Queen of Cups. This could be a feminine. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A woman. Wheel of Fortune. We have a Sagittarius here as well. So we could have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Sag. Um, of course, these signs don't have to resonate. I do feel like this is someone where you guys experienced a sudden change or a turn of events. Either with the way you were dealing with this person or the way that you wanted to deal with this person. This person could live at a distance from you. The sun. They could live somewhere tropical. You could not. This person could have um, very strong fire placements in their chart, including Leo. I am getting friend vibes right away here. This person could also be culturally different than you. I do feel like this person is missing you. I don't know if they would ever admit that, but I am feeling that in my body. Um, so this person could be really missing you this New Year's, perhaps because you are at a distance. For some of you, this could also be a sibling or a cousin. King of Coins. We have an Earth sign male coming in here as well, so that I feel like this is a se second um, separate en energy. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, who again could be culturally different. This person you ended something with. You ended a connection with them when you walked away from them. They could have betrayed you. This person is thinking about you as well. Death, yeah, you definitely let go of this person, okay? So there is a sense of somebody missing you here who you kind of walked away from this energy. You moved your, your um, you moved away from this person. I feel like they weren't benefiting you. They weren't being um, accepting of you. There was some sort of betrayal here. This person could have betrayed you with a Scorpio. They're wanting to come back here and apologize. Um, and I feel like this person is really, really missing um, the warmth and the love, the affection that you did give them. Two more here. Who's missing pile one? Or who's thinking of pile one, I guess, this New Year's? Who's thinking of pile one this New Year's, please? Page of Wands. This fire sign could be younger than you. Four of coins. And again, you could have kind of been pulling your energy away from this person. So there's definitely a sense of this person, um, the younger or the fire sign. I feel like there there's a general respect for each other. This person does miss you quite a bit. They're thinking about you. They might even communicate with you or say Happy New Year's to you. Or perhaps if you know them, it would be beneficial for you to reach out, of course. What else do we need to know? Who's thinking of pile one this New Year's? Okay. We have conjunction alliance. This person does live at a distance. Birds could be important here. This person could have a bird tattoo, I'm hearing. Um, I do feel like the two of you have exchanged a lot of information or there could be um, a sense here of communicating primarily on the internet or online through phones. I don't necessarily feel this person lives close to you. 
we have Libra balance. So this person could have Libra in their chart. They could be very attractive. This person could be wanting to create some sort of balance with you or heal something in this connection. Vesta hearth. You could have known this person since childhood. Perhaps this person is your sibling or you did used to live with this person, for instance, in a like dorm setting. I feel like at some point this person really relied on you for quite a lot. I'm hearing relied on you. Tell me more. Seventh house relationship. This person, I have the other entity or the other entity, the other individual is picking up the earth sign. I do feel for many of you that is a person who you were in a connection with. I am getting two separate entities. Why do I keep saying entities? Two separate people um, coming through for most of you who chose this pile. So somebody here you could have been in a um, relationship with. We do have Venus right now in retrograde. So this person could really be feeling the weight of what it is that they did to you or what it is, um, how, how they had to kind of let this connection fall to the wayside. This person's name could start with an A, an S, T, a W, mid pinnacle, in reverse, mid heaven. This person I think is um, experiencing some sort of a change in fortune or they have experienced a change in fortune. They are somehow linking it to the way that they treated you. There's a lot of um, sadness. There's a lot of pain that this person is feeling. Mars in motion. This person could have made a very quick, stupid, or impulsive decision that put this connection to an end. Um, they could also have Virgo placements I'm hearing in their chart. You guys could have Cancer placements here as well. We did have Cancer immerse. So or this person could have a Mars in Cancer. Either way, there's an energy of something really impulsively happening here to end this connection. I think this person still dreams about you or they still otherwise feel um, connected to you, okay? Um, but yeah, I kind of feel like this person is is a little bit in their head. They could have strong water actually placements as well. Pisces, I'm hearing. Let's get more. Who is thinking about pile one this New Year's? Who's thinking about pile one this New Year's Eve? Horned cactus, resourcefulness. Okay, this person could have heavy earth in their chart. The crossing initiation. I feel like for many of you, something about this connection or the way that you um, connected with this person, it really did bring some sort of a big climactic moment to them. I feel like you really did force them on some level here to grow up or otherwise actualize. There's a feeling here of this person um, really going through it or something about this connection really forced this person to grow up. Or this person could have actually forced you to grow up here as well. And again, from that younger energy, this person could literally, you have you could have grown up with this person. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future. This person does feel like your energy is kind of pulled away, like you're not very interested in them. You're more interested in yourself or protecting what it is you're doing, keeping your head down. Magician sword, confidence in your magic. Many of you guys have really um, glowed up this year or you've gone through a period here of transition. This person is picking that up. They do notice that. They are feeling um, that, that shift within you. Many of you, I think, um, especially for this, if there's a romantic connection with that earth sign, I do feel like there is a, um, you kind of cut this person off pretty hardcore. That's really what I'm picking up. And this person still thinks about, you know, how they can come back into your life or if you would allow them to come back into your life. We have repairing the veil forgiveness. This person wants to ask for your forgiveness. I am hearing somebody here say that they already forgave this person. So I feel like this person, um, they don't actually, maybe they feel like you're still upset, but I think many of you guys have moved on. Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. Yeah, you guys could be really picking up here. Your life is picking up in a really happy, um, fulfilling and exciting way, or you're about to definitely have some exciting things happen. I'm hearing karmic reward. And I feel like this person might be going through the opposite here. Unmarked trail revelation. Yeah, they had some sort of a revelation or some sort of an understanding or realization about you or about this connection, and they're having a hard time moving away from that. They're having a hard time. Um, it's like they can't seem to focus anymore. Fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. I'm telling you, you guys are really about to have a beautiful year um, in the year ahead. It's interesting because I feel like this person is actually experiencing the opposite. 
and that's kind of why they are thinking about you this new year's because perhaps they know that you've gone through a positive period or shift in your life they haven't and so there's a feeling of heaviness here i am i'm feeling um resentment so this person could actually feel resentful tell me more please who's thinking about them this new year's eve yeah this is somebody you totally cut off okay I do feel for many of you, this person is still interested in you or they're still trying to see if they can shoot their shot with you. Um, I am hearing someone here say, hell no. So I do think that you guys are pretty much really in the process of moving away from this person. We have playing games. This person treated you poorly. They could have played games with you. Um, they just, they didn't prioritize you when they had you. And now that it's a turn of a year, they really are considering you um, more intensely or they're really thinking about how they can bond with you once again. We do have stuck in the past. This person hasn't been able to move on. Okay, they haven't been able to move on from you. And it's funny because I actually get the opposite for many of you. I think you guys have really moved away from this person. So they might be spying on you, trying to collect um, dirt on you. This person could really like the way that you look, your dress, um, even the way that you do your face or makeup from hearing. They literally cannot move past you. They're really concerned here that you're continuing to look for love or that you're trying to find somebody else here to offer you love or affection. This person may want to come in here and love bomb you or some of you could be hearing from this person for New Year's Eve. One thing I do want to say though um, is we do have Venus in retrograde, you know, as I'm filming this. So be careful of that. You don't necessarily want to be letting somebody into your energy field, even though this person might have felt like a soulmate and perhaps they were, perhaps you do feel that connection with them. That doesn't have to mean that someone gets to be in your life forever. This person could even send you a message now acknowledging the fact that you guys are soulmates. I think many of you know that this person is a scammer and that this person really has no intention of actually um, settling down with you or giving you the time of day. So this person just feels like, uh, you know, bad news bears. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real here. I do feel like this person is not really not really a positive person or an influence that I want you to have in your life. They do feel like they kind of um, have a manipulative streak to them. Okay, Spirit, what does Pile 1 need to surrender today? What did, what you, what did they need to kind of release? Wow. Surrender to your full power so we can have some Leos watching this pile. Your life is calling for you to step in your full power rather than playing it small. So I want you guys to really remember anybody who's trying to minimize the amazing power you have, it's not worth your time, your energy, nor your effort. You guys deserve to be seen by people around you who truly can acknowledge you for who you are. Wow, okay, surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be held accountable for his or her own healing. Oh my gosh, I love that. So like I said, many of you guys, I feel you have moved your energy away from this person or yeah, I really do feel that. It's like you've really come to realize that this person is not actually somebody that you want in your life. And I feel like you're you're releasing any um, any of the burden that you were holding in your own heart in regards to you um, wanting to change this person or wanting to fit this person into your life when they very clearly don't fit. Okay. So yeah, that is what I have for you, Pile One. I do hope that that resonated. Um, if it did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 5K. We're like five people away, which is really cool. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you soon. And Happy New Year. Okay, I'm going to sip my delicious coffee. Man, I brewed that perfectly today. Okay. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose this Malachite, then this is your reading on who is thinking about you this new year's eve so spirit guides angels and ancestors please tap me into the energy here of pile two who's thinking about pile two this new year's eve who's thinking about them who is thinking about them this new year's eve four of coins okay this could be someone you don't talk to anymore wheel of fortune in reverse there was some sort of a quick turn of events here with this person this person could also have sagittarius placements in their chart they could be a foreigner there was some sort of quick or sudden reversal here which led to you pulling away from this person who's thinking about pile two this new year's eve ten of swords this person could have betrayed you okay 
They could have really brought you down. They could have done something here impulsive. This person could live at a distance for some of you. They could like live across the ocean. Strength. I am getting fire energy through. So either this person or you have fire in your chart. Sagittarius and Leo has come through. Or at some point, um, there was a lot of passion between you and this person. I am hearing balance. So I don't know if this person was balancing or juggling you and another person. The world could have Capricorn in their chart. Either way, you kind of pulled a plug on this connection. You pulled a plug on this person. You pulled a plug on allowing this individual into your life. Something here ended. Five of Swords. There could have been a harsh disagreement here or negative words exchanged. This person is still haunted by the conversations that you had. They have a lot of regrets, I'm hearing. Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Children could be involved here, okay? This could be someone you've known since childhood or um, there is a really, really strong soul connection here. I'm not going to lie. I do feel like many of you did feel very... Um, intuitively drawn to this person or there was a very very strong connection between you and this person at some point yeah I, this could have been someone you thought you were going to marry three of wands and the four of wands this person definitely is a higher level soulmate i think you cut this person off though this person wants to communicate with you yeah you cut them off because they were being a sneaky sally or a sneaky sam Look at that. Seven of Swords and the Five of Coins. This person definitely betrayed you. They left you out in the cold. Um, I am hearing here for someone that they literally treated you like you were garbage, okay? So um, this person is now realized, and it's stupid because, I mean, hello, can we look at these cards one more time? Look at this. Like, look at this. Look at this. I just want you guys to look at this. Look at that. You don't get a connection like that every day, okay? So I really feel like this person um, has fully seeing the consequences here of their actions or they're really feeling and missing this connection quite strongly right now let's get more who's thinking about pile two aries act this person does want to come towards you this person could have aries in their chart sun moon rising or you guys could venus i'm also hearing mars tell me more tell me more Scorpio investigate. This person could have Scorpio on their chart as well. I feel like this person is still spying on you. They're still watching you. They're really wanting to see what you're up to. Um, this person doesn't want you to move too far away from them. I do feel like they are very much aware of the clock ticking there. There is an element of them wanting to step in and heal this connection. They are very much in this state of wanting to heal this between you and them. They're hoping that you will forgive them. I feel many of you guys might have already forgiven this person, but you just don't want anything to do with them. Wow, retrograde review. I'm telling you, this person is from the past. They really are starting to see the error of their ways. They're having a hard time reconciling what they did to you. We have solar flares activate. This person, I think, is going through, through it. You know, I really do feel that. There's a lot of pain. That this person caused you and it's like now they're really for some reason perhaps they they didn't get hit by exactly how much they missed you until now or something i am hearing that pile two please fourth house home you could have lived with this person you guys could have cancer in your chart okay we have opposition this person and you could have had very different belief systems okay different religions um, I'm hearing something like this person just thought you didn't fit with them or there was something here about fit or the way this connection looks to other people. This person was very concerned about that. 11th house community. This person still could um, want to be in your community or there could be a feeling of you feeling this person is still within your community or around you. This person could also have Aquarius placements with the 11th house. Series nurture in reverse. This person did not nurture this connection. They didn't. They pulled their energy away. They turned their back on someone here who was meant to be a life partner for them or who was at least meant to be a significant person in their life. And this person just didn't honor you in the way that you deserved. 
I do feel this person wants to communicate. They want to say something here. They would like to somehow make it back into your life. So for many of you guys here, pile um, two, I do feel like this is an X. So please do go back and pick a new pile if this doesn't resonate with you, okay? Tell me more. Pile two, please. Who's missing them? It's New Year's. Perfect storm, the courage to step into life. This person could be um, a life path eight or a life path four, or this person could be 44. I do feel this person, um, they are trying to figure out how to get back to you or how to get access to you. They don't really feel, for many of them, I feel this person doesn't think you will allow them or want to talk to them actually. Um, so they've been trying to work up the courage, I think, to communicate with you. Winter's dream gestation period. Someone here could have been pregnant. This could have happened during the winter. There could have been a split during winter um, or something significant could have happened in winter. This person just really has been feeling the pain of not having you during this winter as well. Whoa, Tetris. Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. This person is really noticing here that you're picking up something in your life. You're moving into a new area. You're moving into a new way of expression here. And this person really, really, really wants to come with you. But I feel many of you guys have cut this person off. Look at this. Magician sword, confidence in your magic. Yeah, many of you guys are like, you know what? F you. I'm over you. I think you like literally might have said something to this person. And you guys are really creating a lot of positivity and change in the good direction crown games right use of power wow this person really betrayed you i feel like they lacked integrity i'm hearing and it's funny because on the other side you guys really came in with a lot of integrity so there's a strong feeling here of this person really really feeling like now they're gaining some sort of um bad karma or something for what it is that they did here heart home compassion this person really misses you you were like this person's home and you do have a key to this person's heart face to plenty choices and their consequences i'm telling you guys this person really fucked up excuse my french this person messed up really badly and now they they're dealing with the consequences of their actions they just cannot they, like they have to they have to go through this pain this person could be born on the 20th or the 27th Life path nine or life path two, the power of community. This person is still wanting to hang on to you. I feel like this person is still kind of wanting to hang on to you even in an energetic sense. So they could be trying to gain access to you through other means, for instance, like watching your social media through um, a fake account or something. They could be talking about you as well, I'm hearing, okay? Let's see, what does this person want? Or who's missing pile two, I guess I should say. Who's thinking of pile two this New Year's? Who's thinking about two this one years? Thank you. Chaos and confusion. This person did nothing here but create chaos and confusion for you. There could have been like a lot of fights, a lot of problems, and because of that, this person could have even left you or you could have just decided here to move away from this person. Disappointments. Yeah, this person really, really disappointed you. Something they did um, made you feel really sad. This person could have a drinking problem. They could also um, have a mental disorder, I'm hearing. So they could have um, like depression or anxiety or be on medication. I'm seeing medication here. Unbothered. Yeah, this person could have pretended like they didn't really care about you. They didn't really care about what it is that happened here between you. Or you guys, this person could feel like you don't care. <laughs> Like you don't care about them anymore Being nosy this person's definitely watching you. They are watching you. Look at that. I feel like this person I was hearing fake accounts earlier This person They could even have people watching you. I'm hearing gang stalking so they could be like asking other people as well to check in on you Unhealthy boundaries. Yeah, this person I feel is not healthy. They're just a not they're not a healthy person And I think you you realize that actually which is also why you're not interested in letting this person back into your life. Betrayal. Yeah, you guys, for many of you, this person betrayed you. Secret feelings. And not only did they betray you, this person could have legit hidden their feelings for you. <laughs> okay? But now they're really realizing that, holy shit, they still have feelings here. This person could also like um, to smoke. They could smoke cigarettes, cigars, or marijuana. This person had fallen in love with you. They did fall in love with you. If they lied and said that they didn't fall in love with you, that's bullshit. This person does love you. But that doesn't mean that they're a good person. That doesn't mean we have to let someone into our life, right? Two more. Thank you. 
Secret encounters. This person could have gone behind your back here and done something. Karmic lessons. I'm telling you, this person's really going through it, my loves. So I feel like you guys are really laughing all the way to the 2022 bank while this person is struggling a bit, okay? Let's pull one of these cards. What does Pile 2 need to surrender so they can head into 2022 in a positive way, please? Surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. So some of you guys do need to sleep more, okay? You could be um, very tired. You could be processing a lot of stuff in your dream state as well. So spirit is really saying like, look, we need you to make sure that you're resting. We need you to make sure that you're relaxing, okay? This is very important. Beautiful, surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a bit daily basis. In quiet, meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more freely. That's as easily, but I said freely, so maybe you guys are really freeing yourself from this person. All, all in all, great cards, you guys. I feel like you guys are really miles away from this person energetically. Um, yeah, that is what I have for you today. I hope that that resonated. Um, if it did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are like five people away from um, 5K which is awesome. I wanted to say as well, from me to you, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's, okay? A healthy, happy, productive, uh, awe-inspiring, magical New Year's. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, let me take a sip of my coffee. Hello, Pile 3. If you chose this carnelian, then this is your reading on who is thinking about you this New Year's Eve. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, please tap me into the collective of Pio 3. Who is thinking about Pio 3 this New Year's Eve? Ace of Coins, okay, this could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who's very, very attractive, I'm hearing. Eight of Coins, this could be somebody you're with or this could be somebody you work with. There is some sort of a relationship here. You guys have been working on your connection. This person could be a very hard worker. This person could have to work tonight, so they could literally be like an essential employee, someone who has, has to work on New Year's. Ten of coins. This is definitely an earth sign person. Um, this person could also be someone you do have a family with, um, or this person could be in your family. Okay, This could be like an older sibling or even a parent. The son. For some of you, this could be your son. Okay, If you have an earth sign who's a son who's away from you or working today, they are thinking about you. For others of you, this person brings you a lot of happiness. They bring you a lot of joy. They bring you a lot of fulfillment. There's a lot of love here, actually. You do like this person quite a lot. The world and the four of wands. I feel for many of you guys, this person is a very strong, they, you have some sort of a very strong soul connection here. There's a lot of mutual respect, I'm hearing. This person could be just bummed out that they don't get to spend New Year's with you here as well. Okay, I am hearing that. Yeah, there's something here that this person with the two of cups, they are a soulmate to you and the, the five of swords. This person just really misses you today, my loves. I'm getting like pretty, I'm feeling a tug in my heart. So I feel like this person really misses you or there's a lot of sadness here. Wheel of Fortune. This person could be wanting to travel towards you or trying to think of how they could have traveled towards you. Perhaps this person got delayed by the pandemic. Like they were supposed to come, but then they couldn't, something like this. Two of Swords. Yeah, this person um, is feeling a bit stuck right now. They are feeling stuck. They could also be just really feeling like they have to balance out their finances. This person's hustling, I'm hearing. This person's name could start with an H or you could start with an H. I'm hearing Hector, which is funny because I don't think I've ever actually, I don't know anyone called Hector here in my own life. Hector, I'm hearing Hannah. Hannah Grace. Someone could have Grace here as a name. Knight of Coins. Yeah, this person I feel really, really does have a lot of respect for you. They are um, either focused on their coin or they just can't be with you today and they feel very sad. I do feel like many of you guys are pretty are feeling a little bit bummed out here as well about this person, but there's a lot of love and a lot of respect for this person or that this person has towards you. Let's get more. Tell me please about Pile 3. Who's thinking about the, the seniors? We have Taurus cultivate in reverse. This person could have strong Taurus in their chart. They could have a sun in Taurus or you guys could be the sun in Taurus. I was picking up earth energy here. 
We have the sun twice, so I do feel this person adds and brings a lot of joy or hap um, happiness here into your life. They definitely light the room up where they feel that way about you. Entrance. So this person could have sun in the first house or you, you guys could have sun in your first house. Either way, this person, they feel like you, you literally turn the sun on. This person thinks very, very highly of you. They feel like you just make their lives feel so happy, so fulfilled. This person is crazy about you, I'm hearing. Square, semi-square, tension. So that you could have a square in your birth chart to this person. Or there could have been some sort of a tension or some sort of an argument or something because the two of you weren't able to come together today. This person, um, they feel really bad. I feel like they feel guilty. So if you have been making them feel guilty because they need to work or something, um, Spirit's just kindly saying, please stop because I don't feel this person could, they feel like they have to work. First of all, they could have to work or they could just feel like they really need the money. Self node past. So this could be someone from the past, someone you have a past with, someone who's changed a lot I'm hearing too. We have root in reverse so this person could want to come towards you they could want to live with you they could um want to really grow in this connection but there is an element here of this person not feeling like they can they feel like they have to move their energy away in a specific way or in a particular way fifth house passion this person has a lot of passion for you this person could be an artist or they could have some sort of a creative talent here that you could um, note this person is actually going to be this is this is interesting this person you guys whoever it is that's thinking about you I actually am hearing from spirit that this person is actually headed into a lot of success so they are not going to always be hustling they won't be, always be the one who has to work on New Year's Eve I feel this person actually has a creative talent that they're really going to step into here Honestly, out of all three piles, this energy feels the sweetest to me. I kind of like this person. I have to I have to be real here. Tell me more. Who's thinking about pile three? Jeweled Web Connectivity. Yeah, this is definitely someone you guys are connected to. I feel many of you already know this person. This person feels like they can't get away from you even if they wanted to. They're crazy about you. We have Will of the Wisp, treasures hidden in the shadows. Be patient with this person. There's more to this person than you think. There's more to this person than you know, okay? This is a good person. I really do feel that. I feel this person has a lot of potential to become something big, and they could just be worried that you're going to leave them before. Empty well time to replenish. Yeah, this person could really be like, you know, I need to work tonight, or I need to like... This person is always concerned about getting to the next level, making making a difference doing something that they feel is right doing something that they feel is necessary they are very um morally correct i want to say very very hard working energy here sky dancers surrender and you guys know you like this person i think i feel most of you do like this person so i feel you guys are kind of like okay fine i'll put up with you because i like you so much that kind of energy Covenant, sacred contract. You guys do have a soul contract with this person, which is also why I feel you can't really, um, you know, tear away from this person. This person will be thinking about you so much, though, especially if you're not with them. So this person, you guys, pile three. This person prays for you is what I keep hearing. Like, this person just feels incredibly sweet. Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. And I also feel this person does have, like, a want for adventure they do they do there's a lot of potential here for this person to really um, move forward and in, in a beautiful way here with you or they really are able to create a lot of momentum and a lot of positivity drifter experiencing life as it comes this person I think they could have really just gotten tired with always um, having to put up with life shifting this person could have decided you know what no like I'm going to do what I want to do here and they could have made the decision here to change or to do something different because they value themselves or they value, like, I feel like this person went through like a coming of age moment, honestly. Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. This person I feel is very attractive. You guys are very turned on by this person. I don't know why that keeps coming up, but I do keep hearing that. I like this person's energy. 
this person could just need more rest or they could actually be just like very very close to being burnt out my loves okay so please be gentle with them be patient with them they're not trying to um, annoy you who's thinking about pile three this new year's who's thinking of pile three secret encounters so this is somebody i feel um you know you, you might be seeing this person in secret falling in love this person i think is in love with you they, I keep hearing hustler, so this person could really be hustling. Temptation. This person, they feel tempted by you, so they do want to spend time with you. Like they, they, um, when you text this person, you tell them you miss them, you wish you were they, they were there with you. This person feels that acutely. They really do. Um, they feel sad when they're not with you, new friends. This person, I think, could be a fairly new person into your life. Okay, for some of you. For others of you, I feel like this person could be associating here with new people or new friends. We have good intentions. This person, for those of you who are wondering, does this person have good intentions towards you? The answer is yes. They are a positive person. Good reputation. This person, I feel they're just good. This is a good person. I like this person quite a lot. Workplace drama. Like I said, this person might have to have gotten um, called into work last minute or they could just really be feeling like they have to. They have to work to get what they need here. person is crazy about you though blessings blocker this person could have had a lot of their blessings blocked or they could be appearing a late bloomer i don't even know what that means like maybe they started to just figure out what they wanted when they were a little bit older than the average person this person could have gone to school late or gotten into college late something like this but to be honest with you i feel like this person <coughs> excuse me for some of you as well this person actually their workplace or their co-workers could be blocking their blessings here so this person might be realizing that they need to change what it is that they're doing. I like this person's energy quite a lot, my loves. Okay. I feel like this is one of the nicest energies I've, I've dealt with in a while here on this channel. Okay, spirit, what is pile three? What do they need to surrender headed, heading, heading into 2022, please? What do they need to let go of? Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So I really want you to detach from this person, from what you think that this person should offer you, um, and just let this person come towards you. <coughs> Excuse me. I do feel like this person, they definitely want to say something with my throat acting up like that. But I'm also really feeling like this person is going to be a lot, they're going to be very, very successful. So give this person time to flourish and just love them or accept them as they are. Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Beautiful. So spirit is also saying your own intuition is really growing here in regards to this connection. So please honor it, trust it, love it, um, tap into it here as well. So yeah, that is what I have for you today, Pile 3. I do hope that that resonated. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 5,000 people, which is really, really cool. Another thing I just wanted to say from my heart to your heart is I hope you have a prosperous, happy, healthy, and fulfilling 2022. I'm wishing you and your loved ones all of the best. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Happy New Year.